Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and guys, welcome to another edition of the Hard Truth Show. In this video today, in this stream, guys, I'm going to go in depth about the critical time that we are in that I really don't think people are seeing how close to the threshold of the end of this age that we are. Um, and it's a two-edged sword where that I think it's starting to really cut in the quick into people's lives and they're seeing just where we are at that point in time. And other people are wanting to dismiss it. I don't know if it's out of fear. I don't know if it's because they're scoffers. I don't know if it's because they're ignorant. I don't know what the deal is. But there is this massive divide I see opening up. And real quickly to anybody new in the house, uh, I try to do these streams on new moon days and on Sabbath days on the scriptural uh, appointed times and uh, on the world slash chance calendar. You can check that out. It's a great handy tool for getting back to the scriptural appointed times of the most highs is new moon day, Sabbaths and appointed fel uh, feasts. Um, also, guys, um, I'm getting a lot of content being removed on YouTube. Um, I can show you in my email. I have been saving every email lately that I've been getting for 2024 of content that they've been taking down. I've started um, that, uh, and, and I can all tell you it's over uh, one thing in particular. So if you were around in 2019, you know exactly what I'm talking about that went on during the, uh, that time forward for a couple of years. That's what they keep taking my content down because I kept hammering it back then. Um, so I have to speak about that in parables. But um, if you haven't seen the recent streams, just to bring up speed, we'll go back to at least the 80, uh, stream 80 forward. Um, I talked about 2024, a year of great change in America, which is many view as the second beast of revelation, uh, the beast that come out of the earth because, you know, the scripture talks about the waters as multitudes, nations and tongues. Right. So, um, you know, uh, that being the case, America was the opposite of that at the time. And then you talk, we talked about the signs of the last days in the heavens above. We had the scriptural Sabbath uh, summit, which I thought was phenomenal. Then we had I went and reached back and talked about April 8th going to be wild because I uh, used that live stream as a supplemental for um, to talk about NASA, CERN, the government, all the stuff that. They're planning on doing uh, the cicadas uh, coming out of the ground, all the stuff that's going on uh, this year. And today we're going to talk about we can know the season of the end of this age before the return of Messiah. We don't know the day nor hour, but boy, we can sure know the season and the Messiah even express that expressly in his day. Uh, real quick, let me hit the comments right here real quick. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Much love to everybody that's starting to come in the building um, and to those that view this after the fact. All right, so I want to uh, say just one quick uh, call people out on the carpet here is that I have seen a lot of people, ministries, heads of ministries, pastors, leaders, and um, folks out there that are in the community of believers. Uh, I wouldn't say blaspheming. I don't think that's the right word I want to use for this, but I would say making very light of the time that we are in, the signs in the heavens, um, these last days, all these things I have found that it just seems like they're scoffing. And I don't know if future faking is the right I really just, it frustrates me. I don't know the exact word to eloquently put how I want to say this, but I have seen many uh, uh, slanderous and disrespectful and make light of the air that we're living in. And so D-Day plus one tomorrow, whenever we do see these signs in the heavens, um, and I do believe these to be very prophetic, um, this tetrad that's took place from what, 2017 forward, I believe it was, um, you know, there's been a lot of uh, people make light of the, the air that we're living in and all the things that's taking place prophetically, which we're going to cover. And I just want everybody to know that Brother Luke, uh, seven trumpets prepper is keeping receipts because whenever the stuff the human fecal matter hits the vertical oscillator at a thousand mile an hour here very soon uh i'm gonna make sure and remind everybody of those receipts um and of those people that's made light of it um, because i'm gonna tell you what there's a lot of people out here i don't really think they're out here to win people for the kingdom i think they're out here uh just to make a kingdom for themselves all right so with that said let us queue up and let's get the show on the road. Now, today's show is 
uh, just scripture related. We're not talking really politics much or uh, relationships or, um, you know, culture or anything like that. We're just literally talking scripture. Um, I want to re-emphasize what I just said here with this scripture right here is woe be unto the pastors that destroy and sc scatter the sheep from my pastor, uh, saith Yahuwah. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah Elohim of Israel against the pastors that feed my flock. You've scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith Yahuwah. And that's the prophet, Yeremiah, uh, chapter 23, 1 through 2. And they need to repent. I'll be the first out here to tell you that I have sinned. I'll be the first out here to tell you that I need to repent. Uh, I try to kneel down multiple times a day and ask the Father, forgive me where I've sinned, transgressed in any way. I walk humbly because I'm going to tell you, I believe that we, the hour of repentance is growing very close to an end. We need to recognize, I don't know how that many people are going to be able to arrive there already with the way that they act, but we need to seriously recognize that the end is near. And now I'm not talking about how that a lot of people harp and carry on. And, school, and of course, the rapture is tomorrow. And then when it don't happen the next day, the rapture is tomorrow. Well, first off, the most high comes and gathers his, uh, the, the elect is gathered after the tribulation. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the messengers are sent forth. Scripture, <laughs> scripture details us out. You ain't, you ain't even got to go to ask your pastor and double check on this. All right. So he's selling you, he's selling you a dream, baby. But the end is definitely near of this age. All right. And I assure you that the uh, Babylon will fall and the new world order will fall and Satan's kingdom will fall. And this show is going to be rap skied up pretty soon. It's going to be a wrap. All right. And I've got about, I don't know, six or seven slides of scripture real quick. Guys, says, I want to set the premise before we go really hammer down on this. Uh, plus, he, it, scripture usually scatters the scoffers away too. Scripture says here in 2 Peter 2, 1 through 3, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying Yahuwah that brought them and bring up on themselves swift destruction, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, and through a covenant shall they with fiended words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Now I'm going to tell you, there is some uh, ministries out here too, in the what we call Christian community and Torah community, being laid bare right now and this right here is like a synopsis of exactly what's be going on in it and i'm telling you it is uh it that that ugliness is going to rear its head soon and show forth exactly what those sins are laid bare um this also describes a lot of uh ministries out there today and their leadership uh and what's going on right now too now, Scripture talks about here, Matthew 24, 29 through 31 on the verses. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming uh, on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, people that think that there's going to be a rapture, they best be getting it together because it says in the opening information right there, just in that slide of that scripture, immediately after the tribulation of those days. And not only that, but it speaks of that after that tribulation, that the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. So there is a linchpin of events. There is a systematic succession of events that take place there. Okay. And scripture then says here, actually, let me get to the side of this slide, guys, so you can see it here. Then he told them a parable. Behold the fig trees and all the trees, as soon as they put forth leaves, you see it and know for yourself that summer is now near. So you also... When you see these things happening, recognize, okay, cognitively recognize, all right, that the kingdom of Elohim is near. 
Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass till all these things take place. And if you look up that word this before generation, it can be read in context that this, like specifically plural, this generation I'm speaking of will be the one, right, that will see these things take place. So it's very important. And when you read things, you, you make sure to read it in context because people's like, well, it's talking about right here, right now. But if you actually look at that word, this, in the context of how it's being rated, oh gosh, God's got excited to kill the, the speaker or my microphone here, um, is that if you read it in context, that can be read that way is that I'm saying like, you know, I'm speaking in like, hey, this this group of people here, uh, you know, like they're going to an event. This event is taking place on the, the 30th, uh, but this group will be there. Right. So that's that's in the context that the best that I can and everyone needs to study themselves to show themselves approved. Yeah. But like as from what I can read in the context, when you really break that down, that's the direction in which that is lean. OK. Now, next scripture. Let me get out of the way here for everybody says here, for the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. That's 2 Timothy 4, 3 and 4. I'm seeing this going on right now, too, in the Christian community and in the Torah community, that people's being massively exposed for the wicked deeds they've done for decades. Decades. And they, as people, cleaving to them regardless even though all these things have been laid to light. And that to me is a crystal clear marker also of where we're at, because in antiquity, it, it was one thing to, you know, worship doctrines of devils or, you know, people knew there was righteous people over here. There was wicked people over here, but now we're in a last generation where people's acting like they are righteous, but they actually participating in terrible, wicked things. And, um, you know, um, I think the first one that really um, caught my eye was, uh, was a T.D. Jakes. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, P. Diddy thing and all that stuff. And it just keeps steamrolling. And now he's even on a document where that he was, um, what was it? He was uh, liable about the parties that were being thrown and stuff like that. And you can just see it, you know. And like I said, um, I've kept a lot of receipts because I think that, at some point, uh, it's not going to be too long after this eclipse, I think, personally. And now, right now, I'm not saying this out of Scripture. I'm not saying this as it's going to be. I This is just Luke's gut feeling, thought process talking here, is it's not going to be too awful long after this eclipse that I think that a lot of prophetic things will start to be very, very forefronted in front of everybody's eyes. Because from uh, the River Euphrates to the buildup in the Middle East towards Second Esther's chapter 16 um, to uh, the New World Order to all this uh, crap with the hand scannings and you know what's that I can't talk about since 2019 and all this stuff. There's just so much buildup. I feel the pressure point uh, and I feel like that this is like the last warning before it goes uh, on. And man, I don't know if y'all look at the earthquake things. I pulled up the other day and looked at um, uh, the earthquakes that were kicking up um, from New York to the Middle East to Asia. You name it the other day, boy, she's churning. And uh, uh, yeah, Mateo, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And um, it, it's um, it's getting wild out here. And I'm telling you, I don't think it will be much longer past that. Now, just a couple more scriptures, guys, and then we'll, we'll go in on this. Uh, the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteousness, deception among those who perish. It's important to understand that these things will go on with those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. Now, people hear the truth. They can even understand the truth, I believe, at times, but they do not love the truth, and that's important. Uh, you know, is um, that's the important thing to understand. Um, and I think that most people have, have missed the boat on that because they have not loved the truth. They did not receive the truth. They heard it. Like I said, I think they cognitively even understood it to a measure, but they did not love it. Okay. And because of that strong delusion, um, uh, yeah, uh, started 
I, I'm out. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, uh, brother Tony, I, I got a good one for you. Hang on the slide at the end. And hey, I tried to call you back the other day, but I'm so sorry I missed you. I know we were just playing phone tag there for a minute. Um, but uh, the next slide. All right, and let me get out of the way for this one. I apologize, guys. And it says, and even as they do uh, did not like to retain Elohim in their knowledge, Elohim gave them over to a reprobate mind. Now, we're seeing that massively in our culture, especially in America, which I think is one of the most wicked uh, nations on earth currently. Uh, we have definitely seen that. If you don't think that people have a reprobate mind, just spend 10 minutes on TikTok, you'll get there. Um, to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness. Now, think about this description of the people in this last generation. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy. That's a massive thing right now. All right. And, and, and you know, I'm guilty up top uh, where, uh, what does it say? Fornication, looking on a beautiful woman, lustful eyes, uh, every man that's a man. I know he's done that one. I've uh, got to repent. Uh, murder. Now, I'm not down for that. Uh, debate. This is a huge thing in our generation. Massively, people want to debate everything. You can tell them anything. You could literally be like, the sky's blue. They want to debate it. Deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of Elohim, despiteful, proud boasters, inventor of evil things disobedient to parents without understanding covenant breakers without natural affection that is a massive thing going on right now in this generation uh, no natural affection implacable uh, um, unmerciful who knowing the judgment ail him that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same uh, but sorry guys I've got to move to the side here but have pleasure in uh, them that do them all right, that is uh, that is some heavy hitting stuff right there. All right, and um, I'm telling you what, but uh, it's going to be a wild ride watching these people uh, deal with the judgments that's coming. And and Robert, I, I definitely, definitely, am in, you know, I was thinking about this um, at the other morning when I was eating breakfast. I was thinking about, you know, those that sigh and cry for the abominations that was done in Israel. They were marked. And I really feel like that we are nearing the ending of this. And I'm going to make some points about this, too, as far as Jonah and the 40 days and all that good stuff. Definitely want to point out some points from this. Um, talking about tribulation start. Absolutely. And, and actually, um, also, that Statue of Liberty, they say, is actually a, um, a an honor to uh lucifer um and that it's actually supposed to be a light bearer the symbolism of him as the light bearer too just just in, uh, interesting on that too um so uh, i think this is uh, one of the last scriptures and then we'll go right in the slides is what sorrow awaits you who say if only the day of yahuwah were here you have no idea what you're wishing for that day will bring darkness lot not light and i'll tell you what i want the most highest kingdom to come but I wish we could just skip the trumpets and the judgments and all that stuff. But I know, I know it is all part of the process. It is all part of the plan. Uh, no buy, you know, gold. Uh, here I've got my little gold chocolate bitcoins here. I know gold is not refined unless it goes through the furnace. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And we all better figure out which side we fallen on. All right. So let me do this. Let me present this. Now, going into the slides, is that uh, I just put this like this example slide, you know, the breaking news thing afternoon, there'll be the eclipse and all that good stuff, is that many people view uh, the astronom uh, the events of astron astronomical events that's took place over the course of time. They just always like, well, it's always been since creation. It'll continue as such. I should actually put that scripture up there too. I think that was in Timothy or Peter talks about, you know, that they'll say everything was as, since the fathers fell asleep. And so con creation continues on. Um, you know, you see uh, people, uh, brothers uh, constantly pointing out, you know, how people on the streets blaspheming and saying, you know, they don't believe there's a deity that created us. And, you know, they have no faith whatsoever, blah, blah. And here we are in the last generation of massive technologies, the ability to look things up, see all these things. A uh, 
uh, blessings to you. Hey, that's good stuff. Everybody needs to be getting the word out. And, um, you know, they, they completely dismiss the paramount events that are taking place. And I just want to just like systematically go through this as a review to everyone to just remind everybody the state of affairs, the state of the nation of the world <laughs> um, is, uh, let me see, I guess say state of Satan's nation that's about to fall because like this is exactly where we're at currently on the timeline of events is if you look at this, this, um, this uh, astronomical event that's taking place is when you look back at the recorded record, which I believe it was 1811 or 1812 when we discussed in that last stream, is to touch back on the two I did on the eclipse itself. Um, uh, whenever you consider upon uh, the earthquakes and the uh, gases that was released in the sky and just all these things that took place, um, you know, whenever you consider upon that, um, the last time that happened, which was roughly, I think now we're looking at like 200 something years ago, is that you have time for people to pretty much that slip through the cracks. They forget that that went on, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when we look at this in reality of that is that we know moving forward um, that if that happened before over the New Madrid and, um, you know, the, the river ran backwards for three hours, filled up, made Real Foot Lake. And there's also scripture it talks about, uh, best I remember, um, I forget which uh book it was written in that people shared that out of is that the river uh, would run backwards uh, for a state of, I believe it said three hours. And that's exactly what going on with that. Uh, but I don't want to get too much into that at the moment because I don't have that scripture in front of me to share with everybody. Um, but, uh, you know, we've already presented a lot of that in the past two presentations when it covering those events. But when you look at the sign of Jonah, What's interesting, you know, is Messiah said that would be the only sign given was the sign of Jonah. And when you look at the historical context of that in Jonah's day, uh, the eclipse that took place over the Assyrians, all right, and it was 40 days and then was going to be their destruction. It's just so interesting that this eclipse is going, not only the Isle of Tob and all that, but it's going over all these cities in Nineveh. And then not only that, you know, the scripture talked about yet 40 days, Nineveh will be overthrown and an evil and adulterous generation seek after a sign. No sign will be given except the sign of the prophet Johanna, Jonah, right? So Matthew 12, 39. And as it was in the days of Noah, so will it also be in the coming of the son of man. And in Noah's day, everybody's just going about their business. They didn't give a rip. And in our day we're living in, they don't give a rip. Okay. And another thing to compile them on top of this, um, just rolling as of days of Noah, just bear with me. We're, we're going to have to, parallel conversations here running concurrent for a minute is that, you know, the Assyrian eclipse that took place, took place right at about this exact time of Jonah's visit to Nineveh. So, I mean, it was a huge sign to them that is recorded history that is on Wikipedia for somebody to easily look that up. The biblical significance, the historical significance. I mean, all that's right there, right there Age in our generation where you can just click it on your phone and 20 seconds later, you can pull up what Luke's talking about right there you go. And, you know, as of the days of Noah, you know, Noah was a witness to people in his day. And there are so many witnesses in our day telling everyone, Hey, this is, uh, this, there's some important stuff going on here. Um, you know, there's, there's these fault lines that this is going across the last time that did this, there was massive earthquakes everywhere. Like I said, there was an earthquake in New York the other day, and we ain't even to the goalpost yet. Like I'm telling you, folks, like this is this is some serious significance. There's a lot to this um, that I don't think people's taken to heart. And um, you know, just keep in mind with the days of Noah thing too is that you know it's interesting to me that a lot of the stuff like you seen in the plagues of Egypt um, in uh, Moses's day, you know, you've got um, these cicadas, which pretty much to me are just like a mega locust. Um, you know, uh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely check out the other presentations, guys. And you know what? Matter of fact, anybody that hasn't seen the other two, and I know I've already sent a shout out to it with a thumbnail. Uh, if you haven't checked it out on the channel, I will also put a link to both of them in the video description below. Uh, Y'all will, and I won't forget that. 
And because I always mean well, and I don't mean to lie to you. And I have been pretty good about putting links to stuff in the video descriptions, either before the stream or following promptly after anymore. Uh, but you have all these uh, creatures, you know, coming up out of the dirt and there's supposed to be trillions of them everywhere, all over the U.S. around the same time. And it's just like the plagues of Egypt, uh, uh, literally on the USA now. It's wild. And, you know, as of the days of Noah, so shall come the Son of Man be, you know, one of the important things too, to understand is that you had Nephilim, you had DNA mingled human beings, uh, damaged, defective DNA human beings uh, in Noah's day. Um, uh, you know, you had to see the serpent mixed. And it is just so important to understand that what you're looking at right now has not effectively on a mass scale taken place, except for in Noah's day and now at the end. And it would... Uh, uh, you know, I, I, it's it's really, really wild to see and understand that what scripture from Genesis, Yasher. Um, oh, help me out here, guys. Oh, my goodness. The book of Hanak. I mean, so many of these texts that have talked about, you know, everything from what people would call chimera, Nephilim, uh, hybrid human beings, ming mingled animals, all this stuff is that right now you're seeing it on the epoch of the end of the days right here in front of us. Uh, you can see it in reality playing out. And uh, uh, Yah, Yah, Elo, Yah, 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 Elo says, Assyria had Israelites in captivity. Why would a Tav be over America? I'm starting to believe some African-Americans descend from the people in Old Testament. Yeah, I've got a presentation about that too uh, that millions have viewed uh, by the grace of Yah. It's about the true Hebrew Israelites, who they are uh, historically have a great uh, conversation about that uh, long ago. That was produced, I believe, in 2015, almost a decade ago now. Uh, and uh, yeah, I had come to that conclusion a long time ago, my man. And uh, we are definitely, uh, definitely seeing that play out too. Um, the interesting thing to take too is the book of 2nd Answers, chapter 16, verse 1 through 2 says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon, Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloth of sack and hair. But will your children and be sorry for your destruction as at hand. Uh, now, an important thing to understand with this is when you look at Iraq, you look at Asia, which is modern day Iran um, and, and a big subset of that area there. Um, you look at Egypt, which in ancient times called Mitzrayim, uh, which is modern day Egypt. Right. And Syria, which is modern day Syria, Damascus. Right. Um, you look at all the things that's going on in it right now, the conflicts that are over there, um, I would say proxy wars already in place, and then the issues in Damascus and Iran, and um, especially the Iranian army just fight, or scratching for a fight, um, and also Egypt trying to do assistance to Palestine. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot shaking over there right now, and I do not know with exact significance how all this plays out. All that I honestly care about is that I know these four power players are going to get the snot knocked out of them, apparently, according to the, the destruction that is laid out for them in Scripture. Um, Shalom, much love to everybody coming up in the building still. Uh, love y'all. Is that when, um, considering up on that matter, this is some heavy hit stuff because as we see this play out, all right, um, it literally says, and I actually didn't bring it. Oh, you know what, guys? Give me just a second. Uh, give me just a second. I will tell you exactly what verse it is in um, Second Answers, but it, it specifically states beginning of sorrows. And I apologize. I didn't already put that up there, but I want to show you this um, because it's very important that you don't miss that. It's Second Esdras, uh 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning is the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. And just so y'all see, I ain't lying to y'all. Uh, right here, right there, it's uh, 2 Ezra 16. Okay? Um, I think that was the King James Version Bible Amplified. But um, that is a definite thing that is underway over there. I've been watching the news. I've been paying attention to the players. I've been watching how the conflict's starting to really be stirred up over there again heavily um, and in all the sectors. So that that's very intriguing. It's something that you're not going to hear your pastor or your, uh, I many teachers talk about. This is a conversation that just many people do not talk on it, but yet it is playing out before our eyes. Now, another one 
that I'm seeing now people trying to make dismissal of it is that Euphrates goes through seasons and it goes through, uh, you know, uh, changes in its riverbed and blah, blah, blah. And then they've dammed up the river. But yet the river was so powerful they could dam it up. <laughs> like I know the dams have been built and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, I mean, my goodness gracious, I mean, it doesn't take away that the water is there, guys. See, that's that's the problem. Like the, the river Euphrates has so much water that even dammed up, you shouldn't see this diminishment consistently of the, the basin being dried out. But yet it is. And so Cindy said, I don't see how the, these people really think uh, going to help them. Obviously, most don't read scriptures. Yeah. Um, your video on the real Hebrews way back in the day woke me up. Y'all bless you. Keep you. Hey, I'm thrilled to hear that brother. I'll praise the most high y'all for that. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hit it. Tess his hit it sister on the news. They're talking about the earthquake that will happen on the day of the clips. Now I want to speak to this real quick guys is that I want to pause for a second. And also tell you, there was a video a long time ago. I seen where a guy that done oil and gas drilling check stuff. And whenever he went out to do it, he accidentally hit the wrong frequency thing on it. And it set off an earthquake out in the middle of nowhere, like a cornfield or, you know, out in the prairie. Oh, excuse me. Out in the prairie or whatever. And um, it was by accident. But what happened was the frequency triggered, you know, against the Earth's frequency and it caused an earthquake. So make no mistake about it. These entities out here and the governments and et cetera and stuff, they have the ability to also set these things off. And now that's why I also want you to understand that we need to proceed from this day forward with caution um, and not, 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 not say that we are living in the last days, but also don't take every single event that takes place about, well, that's prophetic not to dismiss scripture either. But here's the thing. These people have the ability to create certain things to take place that look like, it could be something out of the book, just like the false um, priests and stuff like that under Pharaoh and all those soothsayers, wizard sorcerers and all that, you know, trying to make snakes go. And then Moses, a snake ate up the rest of them, you know, like they have the ability to do a lot of stuff to look like what's up in the kingdom, you know. So just just I would just always say proceed with caution. OK, always proceed with caution. And absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 harden Pharaoh's heart. That's absolutely right, Brother Maurice. And uh, they mock the scripture. They do. They absolutely do. But they ain't going to be mocking much more longer. Um, another thing to keep in mind is the kings of the east. Now, as we continue to watch the news and the unfolding of the river Euphrates drying up, uh, you know, uh, I don't try to lend too much credence to it because of it being uh, Islamic text. But, you know, like when you look at it, it talks about the river or the mountain of gold being found in the river when the river Euphrates dries up. You know, um, there is uh, some deep interest in that in my mind because I ask myself, why do the kings of the east, why would China come so far west to Africa? And then it concludes in my mind, well, they want resources. They also want gold one of the most precious metals in the entire world. Uh, why would you not want it? It's used for everything from commerce to electronics. I mean, it's huge. And, um, you know, so is uh, th that's one Im Im important thing that is um, out there on the radar right now, because this also is an important moment to understand that I've shown in the past how that the generation that we live in, the Chinese population after this time frame will begin to drastically drop because their one child policy uh, being born thing, uh, being able to be allowed to be born to families um, is really had an impact on the, um, that the country, their military and everything. And so it's going to be very difficult uh, anytime soon for them to amass the military might and manpower that they do have currently present now. So that is something to also deeply consider upon um, in the generation in which we're in, because to have the standing army that's needed to come from the east to the west, um, and especially across the River Euphrates, if they're wanting to do that, um, that this is the golden hour. Okay, this is the golden hour for them, because if not, it's going to be a rapsky. Um, and lastly, 
Uh, let me see. I think I have one more. Yeah, I have one more slide past that one. Yeah, and then lastly, um, as I was talking to Brother Tony there, uh, seeing his comment earlier, uh, he brought this up, is that, you know, the 2024 uh, year already has been wild. I told you all that this year was going to be wild. I told you back in multiple videos ago, I already said that before all this stuff started popping off. I'm on record for that, and it is, <laughs> it is not disappointing. Um is that says right here, um, this week alone uh, on the pagan W day of the pagan satanic papal Roman Gregorian calendar says was uh, this and today an earthquake Independence Day stuff. Absolutely, it is absolutely getting wild out here, folks. Oh, uh, excuse me, that is interesting. That is really interesting. Uh, where was that ad in the movie? I did not see that or that it showed the United States divided. Uh, man, I, I would, I would, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and pay attention upon that. Um, but anyway, and then, so we definitely know that there is a mass probability, um, in my mind, because the past always indictment of the future, you know, I've said that so many times over the years, I know, but like when you look at what happened when Real Foot Lake was created and all the things that happened back in 1800s. When you look um, and consider upon that, uh, you know, if you um, really mesh this all together, the possibility of a repeat of that is actually not far-fetched because you had eclipse, then boom, 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 earthquakes. Well, okay, you have an eclipse this time, boom, 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 earthquakes. It's not far-fetched. It's it's actually, at this point, let's, let's just for a moment not use scripture. Let's just use statistical empirical data. All right. Well, looking at that, I would be expectant of an earthquake or multiple earthquakes following the events of tomorrow, just based upon historical data. And let's see what it says here. We weren't taught this in church. I'm from Mississippi. It's frightening to think what's to come if you're right about your conclusion. Yeah. I, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot tell you with great joy how much I would love to be wrong. I have been very consistently right over the past uh, 12 or 13 years I've produced this YouTube channel. I honestly, if I have told people wrong on something, lied to you or misquoted something or said this was going to take place and it didn't take place or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I would love to be called on the carpet. I am asking you to check me. Okay. That's how much I love the most. I'm asking you out of respect of what I'm trying to convey to people. That if I am in error in doctrine and what I've read from scripture, anything I've said to somebody, please check me today and tell me because uh, I would like to uh, correct myself. Um, I appreciate you, Sister Cindy, uh, 100 on that. I appreciate you. Um, speak about watching the movie. Speak about it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, well, that movie Civil War coming out too. I think it's in May. Uh, that that definitely uh, bodes ill uh, too. Um, now I, I want to pause a second, Bethany, if from what, what happened before the New Jersey earthquake and how it affected many areas, including part of Canada, I, I didn't see. So please share that in the comments. I, I, I would like to know. Um, uh, I, I, I'm very, very curious. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely like to know that, uh, Ain't much love to you, uh, Vedi Yaw's child. Uh, I appreciate that, guys. I, I really do. And and if I'm ever in error, uh, you all know, if you've known me long enough, know I try to keep a humble, contrite spirit uh, and and make correction uh, if, if so. Um, the last thing that I want to share with you guys, and then I'm going to go in here and eat some lunch and then relax on Sabbath, is that um, the Seven Trumpets of Revelation. I want to point out, that um, me and Brother Akeen was doing that stream together recently. And, uh, oh, just real quickly, one last uh, witness on that there. I watched Seven Trumps forever years ago. On, I appreciate that. Uh, and so, uh, oh, my goodness, is this so? Are y'all serious? That Civil War movie comes out tomorrow. What? Wow. Just wow. Um, anyway. Oh. Anyway, sorry, guys, got got sidetracked there for a second, is that um, one thing that the one most important takeaway is like me and Brother Keen was talking there recently on that stream together is I was showing, you know, the writings of Solomon, which I'm actually going to try to re-review that today and read most of that 
is that whenever you look at where that it talked about the falling stars, you know, were actually uh, demons, right? And shooting stars, falling stars, all that stuff. And people wish upon stars. Ain't that crazy? They wish upon demons. This gets wild, bro. Uh, but anyway, uh, when you look at that and think upon this deeply, is that whenever the day does come, and I don't know, that might be D-Day plus one tomorrow. It may be, you don't know. Uh, but when the day does come that a third of the stars fall out of the heavens above and burn up a third of the green grass on this earth, it is it is game on. No, I mean, it is absolutely game on. And there is no turning back. Just one second here. Uh, guys, depending on where you're at in this world, sometimes people will view the beginning of the new moon a little sooner. So there may be a little bit of a day lag between everyone, but uh, uh, that that's that's how that ends up sometimes. Uh, you know, uh, but the you need to consider that whenever you do see that there uh, there's just no no turning back. Um, there will be no turning back. And now what I'm what's uh, interesting to me is to see how the news down plays this. I mean, imagine number two. Number two, a third of the sea becomes blood and a third of the ships and sea life are destroyed. You do understand for a third of the ships to be destroyed in this world, the mega tsunami that is required to destroy that. Because I'm telling you, I've seen ocean liners, cargo container ships go, I mean, down some, a wave that looked like it was driving off in the Grand Canyon. And they still make it across ocean delivering stuff. So I'm telling you, it is going to take meters and meters tall, hundreds of meters tall, probably, wave coming in. Uh, on coastlines to wipe out that kind of ship shipping and manufacturing being shipped across the world, right? And then you have a third of the water turns bitter, a third of the sun, moon, and stars do not shine. Now you got to think about that. Tomorrow's an eclipse, so you think about whenever this the the sky is actually the lights in the sky are turned off, right? Like you just imagine the Most High where we'd like turn a dimmer switch down, like literally He just dims those orbs. Imagine that. And then locusts uh, uh, and and the two hundred million man army, uh, you know. I mean, like guys, this is um, this is some wild things to take place, and it is not far fetched to believe that this could happen in a very short amount of space. I mean, I, I need you to understand that I don't think we're you know people's like, well, it could be a hundred a thousand years from now, a hundred years from now. I don't even think we're talking even in decades anymore. I think we're talking in the matters of years. And once again, I want to point out that that's Luke's gut feeling. I can't tell you that thus saith y'all whether it says that, that on, you know, year 2030, I'll be back, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. But I will say that um, there was a Bible. There was an old, old Bible somebody shared um, on social media recently, and it had all the chronology of dates from Adam forward. And they had concluded that when you counted that all up, that from the time of Adam to now, that like, you know, 6,000 years, I believe, would be concluded at like 2030 or something like that. So it's really wild that, you know, like the New World Order sets this all to their their agenda 2030 and all these things. It's like it's very important to them to wrap this all up, what they're wanting to do on their agenda by that date. Like that is very interesting to me, um, you know, and, and then you look at the bridges that got hit the other day. Uh, like the Francis Key Bridge or whatever, or whatever the name of it was. I think that was it, uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge or whatever. If you look at that, that's the guy that wrote the the national anthem for the United States. Like, I, I feel like there was massive significance to that, that it's like that, you know, that's a, a sign of like, you know, this is the ending of the United States of America. Like, there's just a lot of, um, let's see. Premonitions, that's not the right word. Pretense, I believe, would be the right word. That's these pretenses that are being said that's just telling you that um things are things are coming to a wrap. Uh I appreciate you much loved. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. And um, you know, it is just um it's just a, a very interesting to watch the culmination of all these things. Cause I'm gonna tell you guys, it's I'll leave you with this thought on the end of this stream is that, uh, you know, me and brother Joel was talking about this a while back is that it was just very odd that like, you know, in 2009, like when I come out of Babylon started my journey out is that um, spiritual Babylon anyway, is uh, that I, I just seen, it seemed like that things were just going snail speed um, as far as the end days, you know, it's just like, I don't really see the signs. I don't really see, 
the depth of revelation as that I would expect to, but I feel like we're there. And, you know, 10, like 10 years is not a very long time at all, at all. And, um, and now, you know, here we are 12, 13 ish years into that, or gosh, 15 years, I guess, if you consider where I began the walk or whatever. Anyway, 20, yeah, yeah, 20, 29 will be 20 years. So yeah, yeah, 15 years in this walk, time flies. And um, you look at it and you're like, man, now there's things just going pop, 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 pop. And so it's actually, you know, a lot of intensity now as compared to uh, when it first began. And it is really ramping up. You see what Bethany said. The new Jersey earthquake there was a were boom sounds reminding me of the new Madrid earthquake of 1811, 1812. Um as the Bible says of Noah's flood, the fountains of the earth burst open. Just horrible. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's see here what they say. Let me see what this one says. Statue of Liberty got struck by lightning on the third and the earthquake hit two days later. This happened after they put that portal in New York, the statue is about six miles away from the portal. I, I don't know anything about a portal or McRae. See, guys, I'm telling you, uh, very interesting. There's just so much going on in the background. Let me take this down uh, real quickly. If anybody wants these slides and stuff, by all means, hit me up uh, because I feel like the air is approaching too, where social media is going to not be an availability for us to have conversations anymore. Um, so, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna make this a short stream today. Um, I felt I felt this was important to put out there because while there still is a record and while there still is social media and while there still is an opportunity to warn people, I feel like this conversation is very relevant and very necessary because there is a ton, a ton of um, people, ministries, teachers, uh, elders, people out there that do YouTube streams uh, that is just absolutely been very dismissive of the era in which we're living in. I think it is disrespectful, distasteful. Um, I hope they repent. If they don't, I hope the most high y'all uh, judges the, the crap out of them for it. And uh, because, uh, you know, yeah, please send me an email. Guys, the, the email to send that to about that portal thing, I would love to share the info with people about that. Right there is the email. Um, believe me, guys, I'm here to work for you all and for the kingdom. Um, this, this to me, my time, I do this, this is like tithing and, um, for the kingdom, you know, and it's like, I'm just telling you guys that the hour in which we're living in two things, two things that I think are the most important that you need to categorize and catalog and put on the, the shelf of your mind, you know, the bookcase of your mind is that uh, on the hard drive is that you need to be paying attention to what events are taking place and does it line up into scripture? Don't be trying to put scripture into it, put it into the scripture. You know, does that match with the scripture? Um, you know, don't be trying to twist scripture to make it fit that. Just make sure if it lines up. But the second thing is need to be paying attention. Uh, who out here is uh, downplaying and dismissing this era that we're living in? Because this is a great opportunity right now to root out the wolves in sheep's clothing and the false pastors, teachers, line prophets, um, uh, you know, the elders that should just sit down. This is an opportunity to filter these people out uh, and lay them in the balances and let them be found weighed and measured and wanted. Um, because I'm going to tell you, if you, this is a separating hour that's taking place because right now, for years, I have I have always laid out. I've anytime I've come across the truth, I don't even care if it hurts my feelings. I've tried to just say, "Hey, here's where it's at. Go with it." Because um, consistency is going to count in this last hour. And uh, right now, you are going to see the sifting of the sheep and the goats. And let me see what somebody said. Um, let me see right here. Somebody just said, "Well-known preachers on YouTube." On, on TV, on, on YouTube, and I guess on TV, have been putting down the eclipse. Yeah, and Donna B., we need to be keeping receipts. I've been keeping receipts, and don't worry, I'm about to call people out uh, in a matter of time. I have just been waiting, sitting patiently um, to, um, to say something about it because I just want to let things ride and let events begin to transpire and people meet the rubber with the road because it's uh, I, my gut usually is never wrong. And I feel that gut feeling 
Uh, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I want to pop. I'm going to leave this up for a minute so I know where I'm at in the comments. I just said I was going to go eat. Boy, I ain't going to eat for a minute. Y'all know what I done yesterday morning? Let me tell you what I done yesterday morning. I got up and the first thing I did, I always try to, well, I, the, I always try first off, thank the most high for one more day, the breath of life. But actually getting my act together and getting shown on the road for a day, I went straight to the gun store and I dropped off my wallet and bought an AK-47 and brought it home. That was my first act of the day yesterday. Every chance I get, I buy a firearm. There is a firearm right now next to me if I need to reach to it. There is a katana above my head right there if I need to reach to it. There is a firearm there in this room alone within reaching distance. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think eight firearms in one room alone. Like I ain't playing about this stuff. All right. Uh, next chance I get some, uh, yeah, hey, there's that one. There's a pistol right there. Um, is that I intend to buy more food. Uh, I was just looking at putting more water for the livestock out here. Um, I want to double up the off grid. I actually finally have off grid on the power for the farm. Just got to get the connector wire for the building up transfer switch. That's a wrap. But even if the world fell apart tomorrow, I could literally roll out a spool of wire and just, you know, jerry rig it and the thing if I had to. I mean, we're really close to the finish line by the grace of y'all. But like, I want to put a double of uh, the power going into it, and double of batteries. Like, guys, I have a laundry list of crap that I want to do, but I am not playing anymore. Like, people, they'll out here all the time, be like, yeah, well, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I'm like, bro, I, in the dark of the night, I am plotting, prepping, working. Uh, like, when the sun is up, I, from the minute the sun was up till when it went down the other day, I was into something. Like, I'm telling you, Luke is not messing around anymore. And if I had the, the financial capital, I'd do even more. Uh, but you definitely need to get on it, guys. Uh, but let's see here. Uh, I'll see the links by email. There's a lot to know. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Um, let me see what it says here. Yeah, absolutely. Watch, folks. Uh, I'm so grateful for the sire that we're in. Uh, love that PowerPoint. You guys, anytime you just want a PowerPoint, um, listen, this is free. I don't want a dime for it. Uh, just hit me an email, uh, Red Dawn Readiness, and I can send it to you. Because, guys, I do my PowerPoint stuff off of Google Slides. And so, um, you know, it's always easy to forward it. If you don't care, I just ask one thing. Well, y'all at least just share when you share these PowerPoints that, you know, like, Sam Trump's Prepper channel put that together. That's all I ask. Please, just, just a little bit of support. Um, yeah, guys, email me. I'll get you hooked up. I did not know this about the CERN thing. Did not know that. Um, so uh, I have no idea. Would love to know that. I had no idea there was a CERN reactor in here. Yep, the tires from the wheat. That's right. Um, let me see here. Well, now the thing is, is that you got to understand, as opposed to the Torah community, the Christian pastors, they, most of them, especially 99% of them, I'd say, that's on TV, they're all there for the money. Or they're a stand-up, uh, been put there for that purpose to, to to deceive the masses. So, I mean, like, uh, to me, I, I could see them just playing into this either way. Um, you know, uh, that's interesting. Um, don't know, I didn't know that the people... Uh, too much on that. Um, yeah, these wolves need to sit down. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Got to get, got to get that stuff together. Uh, let me see here. Let me see where we're at. Oh man, a lot of comments at the end here, guys. Uh, yeah, man, they are. Uh, Hey, much love, brother Keen. Much love to you, brother. Uh, yeah, absolutely it is. All's going well. I hope all's well with you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see right here. Yeah, and, and I've noticed that the the downplay, um, the downplay on that. Hey, absolutely, guys, just hit me up. Always, always glad to fellowship with everybody whenever I can. Um, is uh yeah, well, here's the thing, guys. The reason they hide this stuff from you is because many, many teachers have made merchandise of those that follow them. They exploit them for cash, for their service, for their soul, uh, for their loved ones. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, that's just that's just why these things are the way they are. I've got, you know, I've got an upcoming presentation 
that I've thought about putting together to expose a lot of these things. I just want to present it in, in a way that um, nothing can be said back to it. It's just a slam dunk case closed study. Um, and I'm looking at doing that. But now I'd probably be later in the year. I'm going to sit on that for a while. There's a lot of important matters that when I do have time, I actually want to cover like this today. Uh, but guys, I am, I'm going to dip out. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to go get some food. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this stream. Make sure to share this stream with people um, it, it, because, um, you know, I, I feel the imperative. It is so imperative to get this information in front of people because a lot of people, you got to understand, are ignorant. And I don't mean that disrespectful. They've never seen it, heard these things. And if they did, it would convert their life. So make sure to share this uh, when it's said and done uh, and it streams over with guys. But let me queue up here the outro uh, for the show today. All right, guys, it's always till we see you again here at Seven Drums Forever Channel. Be safe tomorrow. Uh, I think it'd be a good day of prayer and fasting. Uh, I think that's exactly what I may do as well, pray and fast tomorrow. Uh, also for forgiveness because, you know, it's interesting, as I said, with the uh, uh, sign of Jonah, you know, is that uh, – it was 40 days and then judgment. And uh, he warned them. And I uh, feel like that this is a uh, uh, copy, repeat and paste. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I just I, I would be I would be mindful of the day and hour ahead of us. This guy's always still we see you in your Sam Trump's forever channel. Hope most I y'all broke you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, show you favor and give you shalom, my friends. In Yahushua name. Be safe, guys. Love y'all.